back to my channel and today I am going to be showing you some of the things that I bought my family. I still have like three or four people I have to buy for but you guys know me. I like to get this stuff done and over with and I wanted to get the wrapping done and everything under the tree as fast as I can so I can just kind of relax, enjoy the holidays. I don't know if I'm gonna film another one of these for the rest of the stuff that I get because there are a lot of things I still need to get for a few people and also Luca, my boyfriend's gift has not come in the mail yet, his main gift and I kind of want to show you guys that and I wanted to get a few more things for him that I haven't gotten yet. So maybe I'll make uh, one last video after this one to show you guys the complete what I got for my family and friends, everything. So if you are my family, do not watch this video. Not cool, not nice, click off right now. I hope that I have improved my wrapping skills. We will see, I'm genuinely gonna try my best and I won't settle for anything other than pristine, okay? I watched a few videos on wrapping. I'm gonna try my best. I'm wearing my Llama Christmas pajamas this morning. So, let's get right into it. So, I'm gonna hop into what I got for my little cousins. So, for, so I have two young female cousins and one little, um, male cousin. So for the two sisters, I got them these really cute pair of fuzzy soft socks. So we got this really cute two pairs of socks here, really, really soft, really, really, they actually smell really nice, which I don't really understand why. And I got each of them bath bombs and they both love unicorns and mermaids. So one of them is like a unicorn's like kind of face with the horn and it's really cute and it smells amazing and it's a bubble bath bath bomb. So I'm really excited for that one. And the other one is like a mermaid tail sticking out of the bath bomb. And again, it's bubble bath. It's a bubble bath bath bomb and it smells amazing. This one's called Mermaid Kiss. The other one was just called Unicorn. Um, but they're both really, really cute. I love them. I fell in love with them as soon as I saw them and I know that they're gonna love these. And I got the cutest boxes for them. So for the mermaid one, I got them this box with, it's Santa Claus riding a unicorn and it has this little pom-pom on top and it's nice and long so that I can fit the unicorn inside but I wanted to put these socks in right at the bottom here and then unicorn right on top, close it. And that will be for my cousin, Rebecca. And then this box I got for Amelia, my cousin Amelia. Really, really cute again with the fluffy pom-pom on the top. And it's Santa Claus and there's a unicorn on the back and it just says Merry Christmas. Socks in the box along with unicorn clothes on top like that. And then for my little male cousin, I didn't want to leave him out on the sock department and I know that he loves Star Wars. So I got him these cute Star Wars socks of Darth Vader. And I got him, he's really, really smart and he loves games and kind of like mind games and stuff like that. So I got him this scientific toy and it's one of those toys where it's like you have to get it to like spin on the string or something like that and I'm actually really excited to see what how he uses this and how he figures it out and to actually see him do it so I hope he figures that out for Christmas Day so I can see him and then I got him a cute reindeer box and it's super like more like the boy kind of thing and so I'm gonna put the socks in along with the scientific toy. 
close it and yeah those are the boxes so aren't these boxes so adorable and that's like their sisters and a brother and i just think giving these to the kids is gonna be so cute and i just can't wait to see them open them and like check out the boxes and everything so i'm gonna be the best cousin ever y'all already know so this one's cute because I don't have to wrap it. It's already wrapped for me. So for my sister-in-law, Monica, I got her a Lush Christmas box and already it's wrapped. It's super cute. Don't have to do a damn thing and I could just give this to her and it's literally the best wrapping ever that I could never do. <sighs> We're gonna try today. But this one is called Dreaming of Christmas. And inside is sleepy dust dusting powder. Sprinkle yourself with dreamy lavender tonka softness for blissful slum slumbers. The other one is sleepy soap. Lather up a lullaby with the soft and soothing tones of coconut oil, oat milk, lavender, and tonka. And sleepy shower balm. Envelope yourself in a cloud of soothing lavender balancing yang yang and comforting tonka before bedtime. And then Sleepy Body Lotion, a luxurious, rich lavender and tonka lotion to soothe your skin and mind. For cozy delights to send you off to dreamland smelling divine. And she's in school right now, so I know she can be super stressed out. She might be losing a lot of sleep and just a lot of anxiety because of schoolwork and requirements and all of that stuff. So this is going to help her relax. This is going to be helping her go to sleep and just I mean I need this so I'm sure she needs this and I'm gonna write on the to and from now if I can find the pen I used yes here we go and that's done I don't even have to wrap it so next I got my brother-in-law is it brother-in-law if it's my sister my sister married him I guess are they my in-laws no yes He's like my new brother now, right? Ty's my brother. How do you, what is the proper way? Whatever guys, he's my brother. You guys know how silly and goofy Ty can be. So Luke and I found the perfect Christmas sweater for him to give to him. And it is <laughs> a gingerbread man and it says getting baked. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, there's definitely a subliminal message there. Anyways, this is perfect for him. I hope he wears it on Christmas and it's really soft, it's really cute. And I got the perfect bag to put this in. It is the Grinch bag. So we're gonna stuff that in the Grinch bag. And we should find some nice wrapping, not wrapping, uh, tissue paper to put inside of it. Put some gold paper in there. Ty's done, but I just wanna put my to and from. You know what? I completely forgot to put Luca's name on all of these things because the thing is, <laughs> We both got these for our families, so so we should put and Luca. It's just a habit, sorry babe. And Luca. One more. And Luca. Woo! We're almost halfway through here. So next is Luca's nonna. And Luca told me that she loves stuff like hand creams and lotions and soaps and stuff like that. So we got her this really nice vanilla sugar hand and soap cream and it smells really good and it also comes in this wooden stand. So she can kind of keep this in the wooden stand, put it in her bathroom, whatever she wants and it smells really nice. It's wrapped up really cute and it has this really nice wooden stand. So that's for Nonna. I'm gonna put it in this cute pink bag and make it kind of like a gift package thing, looking thing. That's so cute, look at that. I think I did a good job on this one. And I'm gonna put a 
name tag on there for her. We'll do the best wishes one. So that is Nonna done. I love these things, they're so cute. Next we have Luca's dad, so my father-in-law, Achilles Christmas gift. And he is a very practical man. We wanna get him something that he can use, something nice and new. So, and he works early, early mornings when it's freezing cold outside and he has to scrape off his car and shovel the driveway and all of that craziness in the great white north winters. So we got him nice new pair of thermal insulated gloves, which he really does need and I would feel better if I knew that he had these in those early mornings, as well as a really nice and really nice new scarf that feels really, really, really soft. And I really, really like this. I fell in love with it right away because it's so nice and soft. Just gonna make sure that the price tag is off. Great. Yes, yeah, so we got him gloves and a scarf and they look good together and they both feel really nice. So I'm gonna put it in this really nice box for him that says season's greetings with trees on them. So let's, and I wanted to put snowman paper in it. So we're gonna put the scarf and the gloves, just like that. And I'll put some wrapping paper over it as well. Season's greetings, there you go. I'm just gonna tape this shut because it's a little finicky, just slightly finicky. I hate it when people are like, Oh, I'm so bad at wrapping. Like I'm so, and they like wrap so well. And then there's me in my stuffing Luca's <sighs> stocking video, and it's like horrendous wrapping job. Anyways, those people can suck something. Okay, so we're gonna attempt to put a bow around this. Oh, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> I want to be a good gift wrapper so bad. That's cute. I think I did a good job on this one. I think I did a good job on this one. I have to put a tag on it now. You know, it'd be perfect, huh? The car one considering the gift I got him. Yeah, let's do the car one. Yeah, Luca and I have been together for almost four years now. And I just consider his family like my family and his mom is my mom and his dad is my dad and his sister is my sister. And like, I just see them in that way. Most people like when they get married, they like call their in-laws, you know, mom and dad or whatever, but I honestly already see them in that way. So we'll just, it's just easier that way. So that is my father-in-law's done. And what's nice is I have a variety of like gifts, like, like packaging, like the way it looks. Like when I hand out the gifts, everyone's gonna like look differently. And I like that because I like it to be kind of like unique, you know? So next on the list, I will show you my mom's gift. That shit was expensive. I got her for my secret Santa in my family, but then we also get her like, so she's my secret Santa, but also Luke and I together wanted to get her a gift. So for the secret Santa, she told me she loves Michael Kors, anything Michael Kors, I should be getting her. So I got her this. Bum, bum, bum. I got her this gold Michael Kors necklace. Mm. 
Michael Kors necklace. That's what she wanted, you guys. Yeah. Spend a fortune on my mom because she spends fortunes on me every day, really. <laughs> and I actually really like this and I know that she's gonna love it. So, yep, we're sticking with that. So it came in this really nice gray bag for her as long as, as long, along with this Michael Kors little like booklet thingy. So I don't know anything about expensive taste so i just get her what she wants and then that's it that's all there is to it i actually want to put it in a nicer box than this because i don't really like that oh yes this is way nicer and it matches because it's gold so this box says merry and bright and i'd like to put that in there but maybe I should put wrapping paper so I put this gold and silver wrapping paper in the box so I'm just gonna place that in right there oh a little cuter than that so when she opens it she'll see Michael Kors right away and I want to wrap this because I like the box I do like the box We'll go ahead and cut that. And there's my secret Santa gift to my mama. Now the gift that Luca and I both got for her, she wanted a new pair of gold earrings. So we, in this really cute, nice box, we got her these sterling silver gold plated earrings. And it's in a really nice box, so I'm not entirely sure what to do about this. So I figured it out. My mom is very flashy. I got her the... Is that an ostrich? Ostrich? I don't know. Anyways. So I wrapped it like that because I wanted to show the box and best Christmas wishes or whatever with all with love at Christmas it says for my mom from Luke and I for her just her regular Christmas present next I got my cousin Anya something from her favorite store she is absolutely obsessed with the store sage and she has all of the oils, essential oils, anything that you could possibly think of. And when I was there with her at the store and she was showing me everything, she really wanted to get this marble stone holder for her oils. And she couldn't get it at the time. She was like, "Ugh, it's too expensive, like whatever, I don't wanna get it, like maybe another time. So I went later on to the store and I got it for her. And it's really cute. They had a white one as well, but it'll hold all of her oils. It's really nice and sturdy. It's stone, so it's nice. And uh, yeah, so I got it for her. And it comes with a really nice sage bag. They have really nice bags. So I want to keep it in that because she loves sage. So I'm going to keep it in that comes with the wrapping paper and then yeah that is my Anya done but I'm gonna put a thing around it it's so hard doing this with nails <laughs> trying to like wrap this attach it to the thing with nails it's so difficult so to Anya from Mandy. That is for my cousin Anya. Next is my sister Jess. And you guys know that my sister loves anything mermaid, anything unicorn. And she just got married, so she's asking for a lot of kitchen stuff, a lot of house stuff. So I found these. 
I don't know if they're martini or if they're like Cosmo glasses, but I got these really nice fragile as hell martini Cosmo glasses for her and look at how it looks it's got like that rainbowy glass it just kind of reminds me of like a rainbow unicorn mermaid kind of thing super super pretty I want these for my own like I want them my for myself and I love them like just look even from far away you can see the pinks and the golds just from the type of glass that it is it's like galaxy glass I don't know I found these and I just love them so I got her a whole bunch of these they were really expensive so I don't know if she's getting anything else <laughs> but we'll see so yeah it came in a box already look at them in there they're so nice and I wanted to wrap this but I also wanted to make sure that these kind of stay safe and they don't kind of bang into each other and break so I think I'm gonna wrap each of them in like a pink wrapping paper so I feel better about them being in there and then I'm gonna try my best and wrap the box. We'll see how well that goes. Pink wrapping paper. I gotta find another pink wrapping paper. Pink anyone? Pink anyone? Pink anyone? Oh well, I don't think that she's really going to care that much. I wish it could all be pink, but I guess not. We'll do one white, I guess. Or blue. We'll do one blue. Or better yet, maybe I'll do them all kind of different colors. Kind of like how it comes out in different colors. I'll do one green. See? Now we're getting now we're getting creative. Now we're getting creative over here. So now we've got different colors in there. <laughs> um so I wanna wrap this. Let's see if I can do it. I want to do a good job of this. I want to do a good job. I think we're on the right track. I think I am. Okay, we're gonna start over. We're gonna start over. There's Jesse's present. Yes, I wrapped it and it has a galaxy kind of bow thing happening there. I'm gonna cut those pieces off. That looks better. There we go. There you go, Jess. Merry Christmas. So next is my mother-in-law's gift, uh, Sabrina. We got her what she asked for, which was a professional straightening iron, a flat iron. This is from me, Luca, and Monica. So I'm gonna wrap this one. So I kind of learned how to wrap briefly. We're gonna try it. Come over here, because it's easier, I have discovered, and I know most of you are probably like, you just discovered this, to wrap it on the floor.
to learn how to be discreet about the tape. Not bad. And that is my mother-in-law done. Yay, I'm gonna get like a few bows and stuff to put on because without bows and stuff, your wrapping boxes are kind of incomplete. And last but not least, I'll show you down here what I got for my dad because I wanna wrap his as well. I got him, Luke and I got him this mixing tool set, three piece brass for bartenders. Cause my dad is renovating his basement and he's putting this bar in there. So we got him these and it's actually really nice if you open it, it comes in a really nice box. And then on the side here has all of the drinks that you can make. And yeah, it's a really nice box. So we're gonna wrap this for him. Not bad. Put my dad's tag. I just need to get bows because it kind of finishes the whole look, right? I think I'm gonna go to the dollar store and get bows and then come right back here. So I'm gonna run and go get some bows for these boxes, but I just want you guys to see this outfit I'm wearing because it's freaking cute. Isn't that literally so cute? Look at the little pockets. And then the shoes, like, so cute. So yeah, see you guys in a jiffy. I am back. Yes, I'm wearing a different outfit. It's the same day. It's because I went out to buy bows and I could not go out in my PJs. So I think I just got a blister from those red shoes. Can't have anything nice. So it is Black Friday today and I got these bows that would normally have been $6 for $2. So <laughs> I win. All right, so let's finish up these looks with bows. So I'm gonna take Luca's dad's and put a little bow on it. Actually, this doesn't need a bow. That's it's too much if there's a bow on it. But this one is my dad. We're gonna put a bow on this one, on this one. You know, it's really hard to do this with nails. Like really hard, stupidly hard. Oh wait, I think there's, <gasps> wait, peel off backing, press down firmly. I don't get it. Is it gonna be sticky on its own? <gasps> Is it gonna be sticky on its own? Wait. I can't deal with this. I literally can't deal with this. <gasps> it's sticky on its own. That makes my life so much easier. Yes, I did it. Sis, doesn't that look way cuter? <laughs> To be honest, looking at it now, I kind of wish that I got bigger bows. What can you do? Now we're gonna put one on my mother-in-law's, Sabrina. I'm gonna use a green bow this time because why not? And we're gonna peel. Makes it so much easier when you can peel it and it just sticks. Isn't as sticky as I would like for it to be.
Yay. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and hit subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification bell because I do make videos every single week. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Love you guys so much. Mwah.